happen. And there's a lot of stuff that I love about the C5 Corvette, but I gotta tell you, there's a bunch of things that I can't stand. I think everybody's well aware of the fact that the materials used in the C5 could have been a hell of a lot better from the door cards to the seat material to the steering wheel design to the center console. There are a few things, as beautiful as this car is, there are a few things that are left to be desired. The overall design of the seat is pretty cool. I'm a big fan of it actually, but I just can't stand where they decided to put the seams. The seam here really just lends itself to uh, it to tearing, really. I mean, people use the seat to put their hand on to prop themselves up to get out of the car because it sits so low, rather than using the door jam itself. And this, of course, puts a lot of strain on the stitching, causing it to tear. It's very, very common. If you look at any seats uh, that are for sale in the market, most of them are torn right there in that particular spot. It's kind of annoying, but you know, it's 22 years old now at this point. So I guess I should have reasonable expectations. It's something we either got to fix or replace, but nonetheless, I wish Chevrolet would have done something a little bit different with these seats to make them a little bit more durable. On top of that, they really just don't feel all that great. And again, I know they're 22 years old, but this is not fancy leather. This feels nothing like a BMW seat in comparison. Of course, it wouldn't be a Corvette without the Targa top, in my opinion. Unfortunately, the Targa tops, especially in older vehicles, always leak I mean if it rains at all there's gonna be some drips inside the car and your floor mats might get a little bit wet or uh, your seats might be a little bit wet when you get in you know it's not that big of an issue for me because the car sits in the garage but you know if you're out for dinner or you're out running errands and uh, you know it starts to downpour you might come uh, you might get into a car that's a little bit damp it doesn't make me shy away from the c5 Corvette at all but it's just one of those things I you know I wish maybe even with fresh seals, even with fresh seals, they seem to leak for some reason, because this has all fresh weather stripping and still I get some leaks, but whatever, whatever. Another thing that is sort of a pet peeve of mine about the C5 Corvette is the wheel gap. This car is lowered as low as it can possibly go on lowering bolts. And we still got gap in the front and, and it's a pretty substantial gap in the rear. So I just wish for as low as the Corvette is, how, did they not take that into consideration? Just add a little bit more material on the front fender and a little bit more material lowering, you know, that arch in the rear quarter or not make the rocker so low, which would allow you to lower the car and still have clearance underneath. So it's just a little bit, it's just something I, I, I'm a little bit annoyed with or I get, it's just, it's just a question that I have for Chevrolet. You know, like BMW always does a great job of tucking their wheels, even in their older cars, especially in their older cars. So that's really no excuse that this is a car of the early 2000s. I just, I feel like they could have done a little bit better in the overall. It, don't get me wrong. The stance of the C5 is beautiful. I love how it looks, but even as low as it could possibly go in stock form, there's still that annoying wheel gap. So it is what it is. Now those are just little gripes and it's nothing serious and of course nothing that's going to turn me away from the c5 i still love it in spite of those little issues but the one thing i gotta say that really annoys me about the c5 corvette is the lack of wheel options for this thing if you look at the factory wheels that fit the c5 corvette the factory corvette wheels whatever generation they might come from they're all ugly I think Chevrolet did a poor job in designing their wheels. It wasn't until the C6 that they finally started putting nice wheels on their cars, in my opinion, in my opinion. But the real problem is the freaking bolt pattern. Five on 120.65. Who the hell makes wheels at five on 120.65? Sure, five on 120, but it's not the same as the 120.65. They, you might get them on there, but I've seen, uh, I've seen the lug bolts shear off uh, I've seen them not fit all that well. I've seen them fit a little bit cattywampus, as they say in the South. Five on 120.65, oh, you can't find any wheels in that bolt pattern that have a nice spec to fit flush. You might find some wheels that have that bolt pattern, but they don't have the proper offset. They don't have uh, the proper widths that you would want available. And they just don't have the look unless you special order something. And then we're talking, you know, several thousand dollars, of course, right? For some BBSs or something beautiful, which I would love to have, but four or five grand on wheels is just, I don't know that that's something I'm going to, to do. I don't know if I can talk myself into doing that, but you know, I'm open to sponsorships. I'm open to sponsorships. So unfortunately we really are limited on our wheel choice. Now, Ford Star makes the Ford Star F14, uh, which you can get flush, you know, like, uh, 
um, like a 19 or an 18 by 9.5 plus 50 and then like an 18 or a 19 by 11 I think plus 55 that'll get you flush front and rear but I've already had four start F14s on my Q50 there's a lot of Corvettes, a lot of C5 Corvettes that have shit. There's a lot of C6 Corvettes that have the Ford Star F14. So although I love the Ford Star F14s, I don't know that it's a wheel that I want to choose for this car. Uh, now, if we just look at the other offerings that Ford Star has, I could go with their like their drag pack setup, which is kind of cool. But again, a lot of Corvettes have that already. Um, and then their other wheels don't have uh, the same specs as the F14. So I, I'm sure I could get something custom drilled. Again, that's adding to the lead time, it's adding to price, and, and I don't know that I like those other designs as much as the F14 to go that route on this car. So it's a real struggle to find wheels that are really attractive, that will give you the flush fitment, that will clear the big brakes, should I upgrade to the big, big brakes you know, in the very near future, which I plan to do. So that's that's probably my, my main gripe. Out of all the things that I love about this car, there are a couple little things that get to me, but I can overlook them. The one main thing is the freaking wheel selection. Simply do, simply do, to that stupid bolt pattern. Five on one, 20.65. Golly, Chevrolet, what were you thinking? These, I think, are, I, I wanna say Z06, like the C6 Z06 rep wheels. I don't even know for sure. And they look decent, but the fitment isn't right for me. They're not flush, and I don't like running spacers, so. We gotta go with different wheels, but if you guys have any uh, wheel ideas for me that will fit this bolt pattern and give me a flush fitment on the car, let me know in the comments below. I'd appreciate it. I've been searching high and low for the right thing to put on this car and I just, I just can't seem to find one. In the meantime, I'm rocking these and I guess that's okay. But that's okay because in the meantime, actually tomorrow, this car is getting dropped off at a buddy's shop for some upgrades. We're doing the BTR Stage 2 cam, we're doing some LS7 lifters, we're doing springs, we're doing push rods, we're doing some engine cleanup. A lot of stuff's happening for this car and it's gonna sound wicked just in a matter of weeks. So I hope you guys will stick around. Actually, by the time you're watching this video, the car is probably already back from the shop and we might be tuning it. So subscribe if you haven't already i appreciate it very very much i appreciate the continued support up to this point and thank you very much for watching this video because we got a lot more coming we'll see you in the next one